Hello children. Welcome to the session of 2020 and 21. Hope all of you are keeping well. No? Here I am to teach you a computer subject of class 3. So let us begin with our first chapter. Chapter One: A Computer System. In this chapter, we learn about a computer system, hardware, hardware devices, software, and working of a computer. Okay. a computer system computer is a useful machine all the parts of the computer together make a computer system it is used almost everywhere a computer help us to do many things like draw pictures type letters play games watching movies etc main parts of a computer a computer has the following four main parts that help in performing the ipo cycle ipo stands for input process and output okay children these four main parts are monitor cpu keyboard and mouse this is monitor a monitor looks like a tv screen it displays the work that we do on a computer a monitor is also known as video video stands for visual display unit the information that we see on a monitor is called soft copy there are three different types of monitors first one is crt crt stands for cathode ray tube then lcd lcd stands for liquid crystal display and third led led stands for light emitting diode So first one is CRT monitor. CRT monitors contain a vacuum tube and are bigger in size and consume more power. Second one is LCD. LCD monitor has a flat type of screen. It consume less power than LED. LED monitor have better display these are thinner and lighter in weight LED monitors use 40% less power than LCDs and last longer these monitors are in maximum use today This is CPU box. CPU is a brain of a computer that processes all the instructions given to the computer. The full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. It solves all calculations and displays the result on the monitor 
A CPU is made up of three main parts. They are MU, memory unit, CU, control unit, ALU, arithmetic and logical unit. So first one is memory unit. In this unit, we can store data and instructions which are to be processed and then passed on to ALU or CU. Second one is control unit. The control unit works like a traffic policeman. It controls and manages the working of all the parts of a computer, whether it is keyboard, mouse, printer or monitor. Third one is arithmetic and logical unit. This unit performs all arithmetic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It also performs logical operations like finding the greater number, smaller number, greater than equal to, less than equal to or equal to and not equal to numbers. Ok children? This is keyboard. A keyboard is used to type data and instruction into the computer. The commonly used keyboard has 104 keys which can be divided into many groups based on their functions. So here is a 5 types of keys on the keyboard. First one is typing keys, second one is navigation keys, third one control keys, fourth one numeric keys and fifth one function keys. You can see indicator lights also. Typing keys. These keys include letters that is alphabet keys, numbers that is number keys, punctuation and special symbol keys. These keys also include the shift, caps lock, space bar, backspace and the tab keys. Now control keys. These keys are either used alone or in combination with other keys to perform certain actions. Control, Alt, Windows logo key and escape key are the various example of control keys. Okay children? Now function keys. These keys are used to perform a specific task. These keys are placed on the top row of the keyboard and are labeled as F1, F2, F3 and so on. These keys have different functions in different programs. Okay. Now numeric keys pad. The numeric key pad consists of number keys from 0 to 9, the arithmetic operators and the decimal point, similar to the keys of a calculator. It is placed on the right side of the keyboard and is used 
for entering numbers at a fast speed. The fifth one is navigation keys. These keys have used to move through the documents or web pages and editing the text. These keys include arrow keys, home key, end key, page up key, page down key, delete key and insert key. First one is arrow keys. These keys are used to move the cursor on the screen. Then home key. Home key moves the cursor to the beginning of a line. Then end key. End key moves the cursor to the end of a line. Page up key moves the cursor or page up by one screen. Then page down key moves the cursor or page down by one screen. Okay student. Then delete key erases the character after the cursor or the selected text. Now this is mouse. Mouse has two buttons and one scroll wheel. This is left mouse button. That is right mouse button and one scroll wheel on the center. A mouse is a pointing device. It is connected to the CPU by a cable. A mouse usually has two buttons on it. It is used to point, select and move any object on the screen. When we move the mouse with our hand, a pointer on the screen moves in the same direction. It also helps to draw pictures. Nowadays, the scroll mouse is more in use. That has a scroll wheel in the center of the two buttons. Okay children? So children, in this session, we have learned about a computer system, different parts of computer like monitor, CPU box, keyboard and mouse, different types of monitors like CRT, LCD and LED. Next we have learned about CPU box and its parts like MU, CU and ALU. And after that we have learned about keyboard and types of keys on the keyboard. No? And after that we have learned about mouse. In our next session we will learn about hardware and software and how computer works okay so for today thank you we will meet you in our next session